Now, there are two HDMI ports and one VGA port. So if you have one of those old monitors that you want to use, then this is the way to go. Now, the resolutions and refresh rates for these ports are as follows. The VGA port, regardless of the combination of monitors that you use, VGA will always only output up to 1080p 60. So 1080p resolution, 60 hertz refresh rates. That is the maximum that this VGA port supports. Now, as for the HDMI 1 and 2, the first one supports up to 4K 60, and the second one supports up to, up to 4K 30. Now, this is all supposing that you connect only one display. As you start combining displays, the output is a little bit different. Like I mentioned, the VGA will always be 1080p 60 regardless of the combinations, but as for the HDMI, when you combine two HDMI ports, they both will output up to 4K 30. So you lose the 60 Hertz on the HDMI one when you connect two or more displays. If you connect HDMI one along with the VGA, you get 4K 30 with the 1080p 60. And uh, the same with HDMI 2 and the VGA, you get 4K 30 with the 1080p 60. And if you connect all three displays, the VGA along with the two HDMIs, all of the three displays will be 1080p 60. So yeah, like I mentioned, despite the very affordable price, this supports, or this provides actually a lot of value because you get a ton of ports, you get three displays if you happen to have a VGA port, the memory card reader, the power delivery for charging, high-speed USB-C, and two high-speed USB-A's.